YouTube is making me rich by making you dumb. Today I will present you with my top 3 power moves you all love. I love them too. People ruin their erections with them and then they come to me for repair. Fantastic! And the best part is, I don't have to do anything. Luxury comes to me because non-doctors and AI channels promote faulty health advice. Penis kaput, man in tears, it's a mess and then the cleaner steps in to clean it up. That's me, Dr. Stefan Buntrock, board certified urologist and specialist in sexual health. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm a third degree master of sarcasm and irony. But seriously guys, why do you love charlatans? Come on, you can do better than that. Here's a valuable piece of advice from me up front. If it's a simple solution, easy, and you can't believe how amazing it sounds, then it's likely to be a scam, oversimplified, exaggerated, or even outright false. There are simple solutions for a good life, but they are painful. My wife showed me a video the other day. It was entitled, Choose Your Hard. First, there was a clip of a senior man with a walker, a frail elderly man who could hardly care for himself. The second clip showed the same man on a treadmill and in the gym, fighting to stay mobile and strong. So you can twist and turn it how you want. Life is hard, but you are given choices. You can choose your hard. With that being said, here's my favorite erection killer number one. It's Kegel exercises. Yeah, just to stay within the analogy, they make you hard. They make you rock hard even, but not your erections. Kegels have the potential of making your penis softer. How's that? The pelvic floor plays an important role for erectile function. The pelvic floor muscles promote blood flow into the penis and help keep it there. You need strong pelvic floor muscles for that. This part is true. But you need also functional muscles. Nobody is helped by shortened, stiff pelvic floor muscles. And this is exactly the risk involved with Kegels. They are perfect for men with a weak pelvic floor. And as a rule, we are talking about frail, elderly men here or men recovering after prostate removal for cancer. I examine pelvic floors day in, day out. Weak pelvic floor muscles are rare. Overactive pelvic floor muscles, on the other hand, are common. So what do you think happens when I treat those? While you think about that, let me tell you what happens when you subscribe to Euro channel and like this video. It gets promoted to more men, helping protect them from bad health advice. Besides, liking and subscribing is like digital applause. With just two tiny clicks, you can show your appreciation for my content and help others avoid dangerous misinformation. And it doesn't cost you any money. Thank you very much. So here comes the problem with overactive muscles. Their range of motion is limited because they are shortened. In the pelvic floor, this will result in erectile problems and sometimes also ejaculatory problems like premature ejaculation. Treating pelvic floor overactivity results in better erections. What do you think will happen if you do Kegels on an overactive pelvic floor? Guys, that's not rocket science. The muscles will shorten even more and it will worsen the erectile problem. So how does that make me rich? I have the means to release that tension by using shock waves. Hurts like hell, but works like magic. And I can tell you, I don't do this for free. Let's recap your bill. So you get presumed free advice from Artificial Melinda on YouTube. You pay for it with your time, drive your pelvic floor into the ditch, and then pay me and others to pull you out of it again. But don't worry, here's the good news. My prices are considerably lower than in the US. If you think Kegels were the worst part of this video, you're mistaken. Let's crank up the tension a bit. Killer move number two is a vacuum pump. Don't get me wrong here, I like vacuum pumps. They are effective and don't cost as much as other devices. I recommend them to selected patients. To selected patients. Why not to everybody? Two reasons. First, 
although promoted on YouTube as powerful exercise to increase erections, there is no scientific proof they have this effect in the average Joe, unless Joe recently had prostate cancer and his prostate removed. On the contrary, sometimes vacuum pumps can cause severe erectile dysfunction. This is not commonly known among doctors, but I have seen several cases last year. My guess is that it may overdistend the penile nerve. If you are interested, I have a video about this. Should this happen to you, help is difficult. What I see in these patients is not only erectile dysfunction, but also penile numbness, and I mean permanently. Vacuum pumps are related to erection killer super move number three, a mistake that's totally for free, but brings the big bucks for me because treatment is substantial and often frustrating. Okay, we share the frustration. It's no fun neither for you nor me. But before I reveal this video's foolish climax, let's have a look at therapeutic options for vacuum pump accidents. Nerve regeneration is what I do. For this purpose, I use shock waves and a new kind of magnetic wave called extracorporeal magnetotransduction therapy. Magnetic energy has been around since ancient Egypt, where they used magnetic stones. Since then, we've come a long way. EMTT is the latest development after PEMF had been introduced towards the end of the last century. Its superior advantage is what we call transduction power. In other words, its ability to transform magnetic energy into energy that can be used for tissue healing. If you want to have a glimpse onto the device, here's a special video about it. I know what you're thinking. This guy is selling his therapies nobody has ever heard of. It can't possibly work. Okay, just remember where we started off. There is a lot of sarcasm in this video because I have no other means of expressing my frustration about the endless flow of medical misinformation on YouTube. Despite introducing the YouTube health certification, it seems the dark side is winning right now. And then I am thousands of miles away. It's very difficult to sell you something over that distance. I will never see 99.9999999% of you. It's not like I'm selling you a gimmick I once invented and that never saw the light of day. Erection would have been a huge success, I'm sure, but it wasn't meant to be. If you want to know what it was good for, never mind. Let's concentrate on erection killer move three instead. Here's one golden piece of advice up front. No monkey business with the erect or half erect penis. Honestly, I think the flaccid penis is nearly indestructible. However, once erection sets in, that scenario changes dramatically. If you stretch your penis while it is erecting or already erect, you're playing with fire. This technique is called jelking and you can do it totally for free. But if you are unlucky, you can ruin your penis in an instant. My patients describe it like this. There was some kind of pop, then goodbye erections. Well, I'm sure many of you don't believe me and that's totally fine. My Porsche is thirsty and my wife wants a house with a pool in Florida. So the treatment, the same as with vacuum pump injuries, difficult. And I can't promise you anything except one thing, it's gonna cost you. All because you trusted some AI channel that doesn't know a vein from an artery. I guess it's like with fast food. If you are given the choice between a burger and broccoli, most would pick the burger. Oh boy, another minefield. If you want to know what food you should eat to keep your penis in shape, then watch this video. But fair warning, you're probably not going to like it. Go ahead, click it. But don't say I didn't warn you. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.